Hello again, it's me, Marcus. Hi, Marcus. And it's him, Rocky. And welcome to another Rocky Unwraps Toys, the exciting show where you get to watch us unwrap a present and then we get to play with it. So, what are we going to have this week? Hmm, well, we've had Playmobil, we've had some Lego. Hmm, well, we should stop guessing and we should probably go and find out, shouldn't we, Rocky? <laughs> Oh, he's off already. Okay, I'm on my way. So, Rocky, I bet you're super excited for this one. Yeah! <laughs> no change there, then. Let's get straight to it. So, it's quite a small present, this one, but that doesn't mean it isn't going to be as fun as some big presents we've had before. Let's have a little look. I'm not going to rip the paper off, because it just makes a mess on the floor, Rocky. I'll just take it off. Rip it off! No, I said I'm not going to rip it. Just rip it off! Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Ah, oh. Ooh, look at wow. these. Look what we've got here. Thunderbirds are go! We've got Scott Tracy, who's the pilot of Thunderbird 1. And we've also got John Tracy, who is the pilot of Thunderbird 5. If you can't remember which one Thunderbird 1 is, here it is. It tells you Scott Tracy is the first responder. So he's the first one at the scene of an emergency. He is a team leader. So he's, he's really good at telling the others where to go and what to do. He's also bold and decisive when it comes to making decisions. So he doesn't think about things for a long while. He knows exactly what needs to be done. He is fearless in action, so he's got no fear. Whenever there's trouble, he's there. And he's the oldest of the Tracys, so he has the most experience. And he always uses a jetpack. How cool would having a jetpack be, Rocky? And he also has a grapple launcher, so he can get up to high cliffs without having to climb all the way up the top. And John Tracy is the pilot of Thunderbird 5. He is in charge of Space Command, so that's Thunderbird 5, and Communications and Dispatch, so he knows if there's trouble, where it is, and he can tell the rest of the Thunderbirds where they've got to go. He is in constant motion, he thrives in high pressure, so when there's a big major problem going on, he's cool as a cucumber. He's serious, he calls it like he sees it. No time for messing around and having fun when there's an emergency on the go. Plenty time for fun once the emergency has been solved. And he likes being in space. He likes to use his orbital conveyance platform, which they also call a rocket sled. That sounds a bit like your name, Rocket Rocky. Rocky's rocket sled, that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it, Rocky? Right, so let's start with Scott Tracy. Let's have a look inside. Quite easy to get in. Open the box! Just like that. Take the plastic apart. And he pops straight out. Okay, so here is Scott Tracy. Put his helmet on. There you go. He's ready to go into space. But he needs one more thing, and that's his jetpack. Amazing! Which clips onto the back. Like that. And then he's ready to take off into space. So here's John Tracy. Same thing again. Put his helmet on him. That is the coolest thing I will ever see! And he also needs his special communicator, which goes on his back. So how cool are these two? Well, I think they're ready to play. And they've probably got to save the world from another catastrophe. You ready to play, Rocky? Yeah! 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, then let's go. Scott, this is John. Do you copy me? This is Scott. Go ahead. Scott, we've got some trouble in Gotham City. Batman's being immobilized. He can't take this one on. Joker has created a giant robot. And it's destroying the whole city. Okay, I'll be on the case. Thunderbirds are go! <laughs> oh dear, so much chaos in Gotham City. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> help us! Where's Batman? He needs to help us! He's not here! Oh no! The bat blunders out of the way, which means I can do whatever I want. <laughs> All thanks to Lexi, who's taking care of Superman back in Metropolis. I wouldn't be so sure, Joker. Wait, who are you? We're the Thunderbirds, and we're here to get you back off the streets and back in prison. I don't think that will be happening. <sighs> oh, really? Well, come get me. I'm coming to get ya. <laughs> Oh. oh, no fur. Not really hard. Well, you know what they say, Joker. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, and a banana a day keeps the Joker in prison. <laughs> Wait, that's not even funny. It doesn't make sense. Oh. Back to prison I go, then. We did it. Well done, Thunderbirds. We saved the day again. Do, 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 Thunderbirds are go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good fun, wasn't it, Rocky? Yeah! Great stuff. Playing with John and Scott Tracy figures that we got, they managed to save Gotham City from the Joker. He'd had a giant robot suit made, and they managed to save Gotham by tripping him over with a banana. <laughs> Hello! It's just a bit of silly, isn't it? But it was good fun. And you can do that with your toys. You can play with all your different toys at once and have brilliant adventures with it as well. But that's all we've got time for. We'll see you next time for another Rocky Unwrapped Toys. Say goodbye, Rocky. See you later, Marcus. Goodbye. If you're enjoying Rocky Unwrapped Toys, hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, check out the other shows here on Tadar Kids.